all right what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back into another video today's video i wanted to help you fellow streamers here to have a tool that will probably change the way you make content and is a tool essentially that will allow you to grab gameplay that you might be playing during your stream without having anything on top let me give you an example so for example here i already have this obs set up here and you can see me there as well but this is a complete source a different source imagine that i'm not recording anything this is what you would be seeing on obs while you were streaming right you might have different docs and so on that's absolutely fine in the back we have gameplay of dead by daylight which is right here and then we also have the little alerts or events or whatever you want to talk about and even have stuff like this for example like notifications now imagine the following you can potentially be streaming and then press the start recording button at the same time but unfortunately for you you'll have the camera or animated avatar whatever you have your alerts your events little goals everything everything will be on your screen now some people might not care but the thing is some people also wanted the gameplay completely clean of anything else that might be on top there are plugins for this on google you can just search in there a plugin for obs and say uh solo source plugin record and it's very fine it works fantastic but sometimes it has a lot of issues i tested it out myself until I found one that specifically wasn't made for this, but it can be used for this. So let me show it to you. And all you need to do is go on to the description in this case. But if you, you know, if you're a bit scared of actually pressing links that might be a little bit sus, you can, however, just do what I'm about to tell you. So here is the plugin I'm telling, I'm talking about. We'll get into it. Uh, but all you need to do is just search on Google for vertical, pl vertical plugin. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Creepers, but I want to record it in horizontal. Don't worry about it. We'll get to that part. That's the beauty of this. Press the download the, the, the plugin. Make sure it's not for Linux, as I was about to mess this up by accident. Um, you can just go to the website of atim.tv. Uh, they also have the paid version of their entire setup with bots and multi-streaming tools and a bunch of other things that you can check out. But this plugin specifically is actually free. It is a free plugin for vertical that will allow you to have this side window on the side. We'll, we'll show you in a second here. And you don't even need to do anything. As soon as you log in, this will just instantly start downloading it. And this is how it should look like vertical canvas windows installer.exe. And once you have it, install it. In this case, I don't really need to install it. I already have it. Although, you know, it would be perfect to show you, but then I would have to close the OBS I'm using to record. And after you were done, either a restart your OBS or B if you restart your OBS and it doesn't show automatically, uh, which is what I would expect from the A option. Um, you'll have these little three docs now. If you go there, vertical scenes, vertical sources, vertical. And this is what we're going to need. You're going to select all three of them and we'll put them in place in just a second here. For example, let's grab the vertical and put it up here on the side if it wants to come out. Oh yeah, need to grab up there, sorry. Um, let's take it with the stats. We don't really need this. And as for vertical scenes, uh, let's put them on top of scenes. So you can just then toggle between one and the other. Vertical sources will go on top of sources. So now we have here this little setup. You'll have these little tabs. This will be the original, the scenes from your normal scenes. You'll have your normal sources as well to control this window. And this one here, as you can see, is already laying down. That's because I already changed something. And that's what we're going to do right now. You're going to press this little cogwheel there with settings. And I want you to switch this. That should be something, I don't know, like uh, this, perhaps. It will be ver vertical. I want you to switch it up. Select everything and type 1920x1080 and just press OK. Now, automatically, this becomes vertical. And what you can do next 
is essentially grab whatever you want and put it in there and it will duplicate it. So you can have a source that you can then just press this little button there, record vertical and boom, you're, you're done. But I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how you can make this even better. Because when you're streaming, you're streaming at possibly like 6,000 bit rate, right? And the quality is not that good. You might try to download the VOD. Um, maybe, you know, you're gonna try to record, but then you don't know the right options. I would say that the 35, 5,000 bitrate. If you have a medium uh, good PC, this is, should be fine. If you have a lower end PC, you can maybe go to like 20,000, 25,000, even though you're going to notice that uh, that flaw there. Audio bitrate, obviously, three, 320. If you didn't know that, you can also go to the settings, go to audio, not audio, sorry, output, make sure it's on advanced. Go to audio and make every single one of your tracks at 320. It'll give you the crisp sound for both your gameplay and your camera um and your microphone as well so you should definitely change that so i'm gonna put that in there like that uh show vertical scenes in my list this this is just gonna to make it a big mess all right so like you can have it but it it probably just gonna be a bit a bit of a mess there you know like so don't don't really turn that on and after you have that go here into the backtrack recording path uh actually no sorry go to the the recording tab and select here where you want the recordings to go right you might want it to go to the specific folder of videos in this case it creates one automatically called vertical and i just let it there so this way i can distinguish from normal recordings that like the one that i'm doing right now and the ones that we're using with the vertical plugin so after you have this set up make sure you put a little keybind so if you're streaming you don't have to alt tab out of a game you could just press a button start recording in this case i got a stream deck so i can just do that um and then you can also select the backtrack. Uh, this is another thing I also use a lot. So in case I'm playing I might, and I did a very good clip, sometimes I might be using music that I don't want to have in the clip. Sometimes I don't want to show up in the clip. I just want the gameplay to be shown. And sometimes I just want that clip to have high quality. So all of these are possibilities that we can do with this clip. Uh, with this plugin, sorry. And once you have the plugin ready and you have all of these set up, you can also put this into a folder specifically where you want the clips to go. In this case, I have it here for a video that I'm planning on doing and I'm sending them all over over there. And then I select how much time I want it. It'll be on. All right. If it's not on, you can turn it on by yourself. There's an option that will always be on. And then you just press a button, the key bind that you selected over here. So once you click it, boom. The last 45 seconds of whatever shows up in there will be recorded. So let's set it up so it's easier for you. Now, do understand that these are not going to work 100% like these two, the normal ones from OBS, because unfortunately there's some some stuff missing. Um, I'll talk about what I'm, what exactly are the differences, but let's go, for example, here for um, game capture because that's what I, we have over there. Um, let's go here and for example, transform, stretch the screen because if it's a window that you press like F11 and the window like goes smaller when you get out and so on, uh, this will also happen there. So if you stretch the screen, it will always maintain that ratio and never actually um, lose its form. Now, however, you might want to record your camera, but just in separate. I got a tip for you. So what you're going to do is you want to go to Google and you want to search for green screen, just a picture, a green picture, completely green and just download it. And what is that for? Because for Sony Vegas or even Adobe um, Premiere, whatever you want to call it, you might want to still get, you know, a little bit of that uh, power to be able to separate the camera and move it around however you want right and with this you can't so let's just shrink down the game here i'm holding the shift button so it maintains its ratio because i press the stretch button the stretch for transform for option it would immediately like deform it so we're going to put it down up here just a little corner there and on down there we're going to put the, the camera and so i'm going to add here the uh, video capture device and it's the one that i'm already using there the cat right we're going to put it down to the corner over there and just make it smaller right let's just see if i can grab this over here and boom now it's smaller there and that's more than enough let's let's just again grab the shift and stretch this out a little bit and on the back of all of this let's put something just for how do you remove that black part there because if you try to use like the black uh chroma key is going to have a bit of an issue so we're just going to grab the image you search whatever 
wherever the place is that you have that picture, the green picture that I said, the green screen picture that I said. Oops, <laughs> grab something else. Um, and once you're there, grab that green screen picture, stretch it up all the way to the max. And what you want to do now that it's covering everything up, you want to go here and you want to go order move down this is the part that i was trying to say because like if you try to drag it like the normal yes it won't work so this is the way to do it just order move to the bottom in this case and boom automatically now i have a green screen now if you have a like immediately like a rectangle camera and you don't have any sort of green screen you still see the background of your room and so on you can skip all this entire step just make sure that the camera is over there and the gameplay is over there so that when you go to sony vegas or premiere or whatever you can then just duplicate the video source right and the gameplay you can just stretch it to the 1080p you're gonna lose a little bit because you're stretching it out this section there but it's still the closest you can get as to the main quality while having your camera separate and then you have the camera use it again crop this entire section over there and just have the camera ready for you and all you need to do now is either press the button to record or cr click the little the little key bind you decided to put and now when you're streaming, you'll have a complete separate source recording by itself of your gameplay and your camera or just your gameplay alone. You can then even create another one, create the second one, just uh, just game. And in here, we're going to add just the gameplay and boom. And now I'm going to do again what I said, stretch the screen, boom. Now, and, and you can now just have immediately just gameplay, no cameras, no nothing, right? There you go. This is the easiest way there is. Um, there is a plugin to record specifics, the specific sources, but that works really weird sometimes. And this one is just free. It works fantastic. It's constantly being updated. And last case scenario, if you see that this is fantastic, you go, you can go to Atom and actually test out their entire se uh, section of things that they have. Um, they're actually already integrating their stuff into Streamlabs of uh, Streamlabs desktop as well, so you can try that out as well. But I believe that the vertical plugin does not work there. I specifically went and downloaded uh, the Streamlabs desktop. Um, app the streamlabs obs whatever you want to call it and i haven't been able to actually put the vertical plugin in here if you are in here and if you actually know of a way to do that uh i mean you guys kind of can i think you can actually have already like a little toggle selective recording and so on um which i guess it's fantastic they've changed this a lot um but let's add the source add and just go with specific window dead by daylight and close it and so i believe you can toggle the selective recording which would be similar to that without having any extra plugin but i'm going to be honest folks ever since i started using obs i never touched streamlabs obs ever again ever and i've been loving it because you can put so many plugins so many options it's actually fantastic you just need to learn it right but once you do learn it this entire software is the best software you can get for streaming so if you are a person who needed this very very much and it did help you uh, make sure you tell me down in the comments below if you have any questions you can also can, you know just go down in the comments below and let me know and i'll try to answer to you and if you want because this is also a thing with this little public plugin you can have your audio sources separate right uh, obs itself already has the application audio capture where you can have each source your microphone the game all separate and then you just put them on the events tracking um but there's actually a better way that works way better than the better version of theirs of obs itself so i can actually help you with that and as such i will be doing a video about it in the next few days when you record with this it's actually going to grab the same options of audio and have them all separate so you can just have gameplay separate from your microphone and you can just upload a clip of game without your voice without notification sounds nothing at all just raw gameplay and it's actually beautiful so if i did help you guys uh you know consider pressing that subscribe button the like button and uh, make sure you share this with your friends who also want to become streamers and need desperate uh you know 
tricks and plugins and tips and tricks for their content. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, more videos to come. This is the start of a large series that I'm going to be working on for the next few months or so. And uh, I'm really going to dedicate myself into this and I want to see if I can help you guys as much as possible. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.